Well, it's been more than a week since hundreds, if not thousands, of domesticated rats were apparently dumped in Steelton and Harrisburg. There are still a lot more rats than there are answers about this bizarre mystery. We have been reaching out to the Steelton Borough and Police Department for several days, and they have not released any more information. Still, volunteers continue working to round up and find homes for these rats. I followed up with one of them today to find out where things stand. They have no shelter. They have no food source, no water source. For almost a week, Bethany Pasco has been collecting rats in Steelton. I'm starting to lose count. After she heard about a large number dumped around the borough. One of my friends actually messaged me. She asked if I'd be willing to help. Now, Pasco's housing about 50 rats herself, with others going to foster homes and some to the Harrisburg Humane Society. I believe that we have about a dozen. Humane Society Marketing Director Amanda Brunish says these rats appear to be domesticated, which raises concerns over how long they can survive outside. No animal that has been living in a home knows how to survive on their own. There's some, of course, some natural instincts that all animals and creatures have, but it's not sustainable. The good news, Brunish says these rats will be adoptable. They are very social creatures. They love people. They love being with other domesticated rats. Right now, the Humane Society is performing medical and behavioral checks. Pasco is doing the same with the rats she's collected, bringing them to the vet Friday. There are eight. But this isn't over. We know there are still rats out there. A lot of the females are pregnant or have already given birth. In the process of me being here, and running like one or two other errands. One of the rats that we caught the day before wound up having babies. The top priority is finding as many rats as possible a permanent home. The entire situation is really sad because they're not being contained. They're being like they're spreading. Again, there's still a lot of information we are working to find out. Where did these rats come from? Who dumped them? And exactly how many rats are out there? We will continue to follow up with Steelton Police for more updates on their investigation.